What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Soma Spider So What? And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the Superfina channel, we have a Patreon and a channel membership. Links to those is available in the description if you want to support. Today, we are reacting to Soma Spider So What? Episode 14, I'm Rebelling, I'm Self-Deprecating. Now, if you remember on the last episode, we were introduced to Komoko going out to the open world. She's outside. She just defeated her siblings. Her mom was calling for her, but then she's like, nah. And she had to defeat her siblings, and then she sent her parallel minds to go after mom. And then we saw... Shun and the rest of the reincarnated people in a meeting talking about the war with the demons, the demon lord. They were talking about how suspicious the church is. And we saw that Shun's brother was on cahoots with Hugo and he did something to Sue and Katya. We're like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? So hopefully this episode is going to tell us what's going on. I mean, the episode is called... I'm rebelling, so maybe the older brother is going to be involved in this episode. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Or it could be Komoko rebelling to her mom. We, we don't know yet. We don't know. It could go with either or. Like they do with every title. It could go with any person, any character in this anime. Okay, I see that we're outside. I don't know what part of the story this is going to be. Is it for Komoko or is it for Shun or is it for someone else? How interesting that they're mentioning what's happening outside of the war and such. Like the consequences of war and battles. <gasps> Pink eyes! Pink eyes! Look at this! Pink eyes! Pinkish eyes! That's always a sign that it's something related to Komoko. Hey, it's Kamoko time! <laughs> A lonely homemaker. <laughs> Parallel <Sentai>. <laughs> Like the Power Rangers. <laughs> Melancholy solo journey. <laughs> yes, human interaction. Let's do this. <laughs> She's really affected by her conscience, huh? First it's like saving the world and now it's saving people. Oh, she gets more experience points from humans? I think someone mentioned that in the comments. <laughs> Happy! Happy! Handsome was tasted better. I could really go for some hotties. Oh, 
Oh, bro, I thought he was gonna be important because he had blue hair. <laughs> that baby sounds so cute crying. Time to save the day. Oh, I like that they're showing what she looks like from the opponent's perspective. Quite refreshing, yet a little horrifying. Oh, damn. <laughs> she gonna use heal on this guy? See, people with blue hair are important. I knew it! I knew it! Pink eyes! So, we gotta look at the stats. Look all this over here. Human vampire named Sophia Karen. Offense 9, defense 8, magic power 32, resistance 33, speed 8. Uh, vampire level one, one. Oh, it's a baby. It has to be one, but skill points seventy five thousand. Titles: Vampire and Progenitor. Like, like, like a progeny. Yep, the vampire. Shoko and Negishi. Why does it have a Japanese name? Is she reincarnated? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Atsuko? Shoko or Atsuko? Yeah, is she a reincarnation? But it seems she doesn't recognize that name, so it's not her classmate? Wait! 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 Didn't we see her in the opening where she's in the carriage and they like they show her but she's older, she has like longer hair and they kind of like zoomed in on her fangs? Let me know in the comments if you remember about that. Isn't that a little greedy? <laughs> Oh, at least she knows what she's going to look like when she grows up. <laughs> Reincarnation bias. <laughs> Show your blood-sucking life being a pretty vampire princess. <laughs> she's running away because of the unfairness. <gasps> Were they after the baby? Elves! We have encountered elves, folks! They're gonna take the baby alive? Why do you want the baby? 
Wait. Their mouths looked weird when they went, heh. This is me trying to read into it. It kind of looked like they had fangs. Everybody's playing on hard mode. <laughs> Oh, she defeated them! Oh, how nice of her! She didn't have to. Oh, Sue, what you up to? Oh, oh, what's that in the shadow? Is that her hand out and the shadows reflecting that? Yes, yes it was. Wow, detail in this anime. Jeez, I was not expecting that. Oh, they're trying to make him into a fugitive! Oh, that's dirty! Very conniving older brother! Is it because of who his mom is? Is that why the brother betrayed him? Yeah, wasn't the brother already next in line for the throne? Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, the dad was gonna name Shulane as heir to the throne so he didn't have to go to the battlefield. But the hero is needed to go on the battlefield. So, did he want to keep him safe so he would have time to train? Because remember what they said that Julius was sent to the battlefield much younger than Shulane was. I'm wondering if the dad was trying to make up for that. What he couldn't do for Julius, he'll do for Shlaine. And the most he can do is name him as heir to the throne so he can stay at home, train a little bit longer, then go to the battlefield. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound like Sue. That does not sound like Sue at all. Brainwashed. Charmed. Hugo, how did you do that? How did you brainwash and charm her? Yes, you punch that butthole. Oh, is this the vampire girl? Is this the baby, baby vampire? It is. Why is 
baby vampire here. That's what she meant when she said she is a reincarnated person. She is. Mm hmm. We should have saw him slug you. Mm hmm. Where did that come from? <gasps> Teacher Oka! Dang! Oka since it got moves. She was not all talk. No, you gotta leave Sue behind. You gotta. <gasps> the elf servant girl was important. That's why they kept zooming in on her. They're always giving us some hints in like previous episodes. Or giving hints for later on. <laughs> What play? Pin the rebellion on Shun? Oh dear. Where is that coming from? <gasps> oh. At least he has another brother on his side. But what if this is like to fool him? Like, yeah, I'm a brother that's on your side. We're, wow, there's another brother that wants to kill you. But later on, I'm going to turn on you. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Wait, how are you declaring you here when one didn't die? And they hinted that on the last episode about the church being shady. Lust and the Seven Deadly Sins. Oh! Wait, did Sophia just kill Oka's dad? Is this, Shun's, is this going to be Shun's first battle? Is he going to kill people for the first time? Katya sounded like a villainous. Oh. Yeah, wake up already, Katya. <laughs> He's calling her Baka Yaro. <laughs> Mm. Oh! oh, I did not expect this! Tackle her down! Yeah. 
Don't be fooled. Yeah, he got fooled. Yes, stab her! Stab her! Is hurt or get hurt? Oh, Katya stabbed herself. She's a good woman. She's got willpower. I like her. Oh. The power of love. Heal her with the power of love. <gasps> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting a death or healing with the power of love. But what was that? Sophia. Oh, she's holding his head. Oh, that's dirty. That is plain dirty. Hey, yeah. That would be a good thumbnail picture. <gasps> oh, she knows who this person is! How come you were told not to go after the teacher? If magic doesn't work, then wouldn't attacking work? Like physical attacks? Dang! Boss lady! <gasps> Faye? Is that Faye coming to the rescue? Yeah! Dang, Faye! What kind of attack was that? Bruh, so much happened in this episode. It's like... Alright, people. New arc! <laughs>
New adventure! New chapter, here we go! <laughs> Y'all, so much happened in this episode. It's like this episode was meant for Sophia. You know, we got Kumoko, she only had like this much of screen time. And it was all just to introduce Sophia. So this confirms it. She's still back 15 years ago. We're still seeing Kumoko 15 years in the past. Which is what I was wondering about in the last episode. I was like, what time is Kumoko in? <laughs> But it just confirmed. It confirmed it was Sophia. Because in Kamoko's time, Sophia's baby. In Chun's time, she's full grown. She is a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's kicking butt. Like, dang. What happened to you? Like, how did she go from cute little vampire baby to villainous? And that was my reaction. So I'm a spider. So what? Episode 14. I'm rebelling. Self-deprecating. A lot happened in this episode that I was not expecting it. Like, I knew on the last episode they were showing, like, a new arc and such. And um, this episode just showed a whole new one. Like, I thought the story was going to start out, okay, Shin's going to start as a hero. He's going to train. We're going to see what's happening with his training journey and then it's like oh hold up hold up you're being framed for rebelling we're gonna like try to destroy you and reveal all these conspiracies and yeah boot you out get you out of the picture no 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 shoon he's like uh, -uh i gotta survive and now he's gonna have this fugitive training journey so instead of having the cushion of his princely background, that luxury, having all that help from all his family, peers, all his subjects and such, no, he's on his own. He's going on a real adventure. I'm quite excited for this because that means he's going to go through some challenges, some hardships. Like, I want him to struggle. Anyways, what did you think about this episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. So you guys are more than welcome. And I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, the link to the podcast is available in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was the Superfina channel reacting to So Much Spider So What episode 14. I'm rebelling. I'm self-deprecating. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.